Page 1. 101 Really Important Things You Already Know, But Keep Forgetting, Ernie J. Zielinski, 2007. 001 Preface. Have you ever noticed how history has a habit of repeating itself? Many situations in which you find yourself today are likely similar to ones you have experienced sometime in the past. The other participants, as well as the stage, may have changed along the way. The deplayed plot and intriguing drama are all too familiar, however. Through each of the scenes, you get to learn several important concepts of living that you have already learned several times, but keep forgetting. You may have first encountered some of these life principles when you were in grade school. Nevertheless, you have had to relearn them from time to time, in some cases too many times to count. Keep in mind that it is all too easy to carry the baggage of your youth into your later years. You don't want to be 60 or 70 years old and saying, any day now, I am going to get my act together and stop making this same costly mistake over and over again. This is the reason that this book focuses on many of those life lessons that most of us have already learned, but for some mysterious reason keep consigning to oblivion. Sometimes it's not all that mysterious it's just a case of our acting out of emotion instead of consulting our intellect. Knowing which situations to avoid and which principles to follow is important for a full, rewarding, happy, and enlightened life. Indeed, failure to abide by these life lessons can drastically affect our personal and vocational success. In large measure this book is autobiographical. Even while writing it, I occasionally found myself promptly violating one of the principles about which I had just written. In one case, it was somewhat embarrassing when it cost me some money and my pride. One thought of the graffiti writer who claimed, I learn from my mistakes, one can make the same mistake with greater ease the second time around. To be sure, experience increases our knowledge but it doesn't necessarily decrease the number of our mistakes. Best-selling author Richard Bach wrote, Leaming is finding out what you already know. Doing is demonstrating that you know it. It follows that knowledge can be called wisdom when we start using it and benefiting from it. Intelligent action, in other words, is required to transform valuable knowledge into wisdom. You will notice that much of the content in this book is just plain common sense. Oliver Wendell Holmes Sr. once said, We all need an education in the obvious. In the same vein, a Latin proverb states that common sense is not all that common. What's more, philosophers tell us common sense in an unusual amount leads to wisdom. I hope that this book will also give you an insight or two instead of just reminding you of what you already know. There may indeed be a few life lessons that you previously haven't learned. Martin Van Beeb warned us, lean from the mistakes of others, you can live long enough to make them all yourself. After reading this book you may finally get the message about some of life's important principles so that you don't have to relearn them the hard way. Perish the thought of never violating all the lessons in this book, however. There will always be moments of weakness in your life during which you repeat some mistake you have made several times before. Your goal should be to minimize the number of important lessons you keep forgetting and the number of times you forget them. Try to read this book with an open heart and an open mind. Apply the principles that resonate with you and discard those that don't. Whenever working on a new project, I always keep in mind the words of Thomas Carlyle, the best effect of any book is that it excites the reader to self-activity. My wish is that the life lessons in this book infect you with the inspiration, motivation, and commitment needed to attain your dream of having a full, relaxed, satisfying, and happy life. Page 2